Uh, welcome to the official IBU Press conference after men's pursuit here in first week of Novemisto. With us, the winner, Tarje Bö of Norway. Tarje, third win of the season. And a brilliant, fast-paced performance, as it seemed from the outside. Can you just take us through the race? Yeah, uh, after yesterday's race, I felt it was like a mass start. It was so close. Uh, and uh, the tracks here are really really fast so you knew it would be a shooting competition and uh, it was also uh, but i was able to fight in the front the whole race and uh, when i get the match ball i i, I took it uh, we were two fighting for the win uh, but i knew that if i would miss the guys including my brother and simon would uh, would catch me so when the last shot went down i was uh, yeah, smiling <laughs> a lot when I heard I had a gap uh, to win it. And how did you approach your last shoot? Because in Oberhof you told us you had two experiences. You took a lesson from the pursuit which you applied yeah. in Mustard. Yeah, the first uh, uh, my first chance to win uh, in a pursuit this year was, uh, was in Oberhof and I missed in the last shooting. I got too, way too defensive. And I saw this the weekend after in the mass start. It's sort of the same situation, even if it's another distance, it's the same feeling when you are in the end of the 20 shot race. And the world champs was quite disappointing. And uh, you know, this sport goes up and down. I've done it for so many years. So I know you will come back if you just continue your work. And uh, the 10 days at home, I, I spent quite well. Uh, and I know that a lot of people are quite satisfied with their world champs, and I was not. So this was my, my 10 days of revenge uh, in front of this competition. And if we just go quickly to Pukliuka, we talked briefly. You said it was still uh, a matter of margins that kept you from, from medals. Can you just talk briefly about this yeah, aspect this of biathlon? You always look into your own mistakes when you evaluate uh, races. And when I evaluated the world champs, uh, I felt that I have been, been really bad, actually, especially on the shooting range. Uh, but also in the end, it were two races. I was one shot from a medal. And uh, you know, that's how this sport is uh, built, built up. But through a championship, you hope that at least one race will go in. But sometimes it's not, it doesn't work like that. It's like rolling the dice. Again, you never know. It can happen. You can still get uh, the worst uh, outcome every time. Uh, so I felt even if it was the best champs for Norway, it was not the best for me or my brother. So that we have a double, double today is quite, quite good for our uh, mental health towards the last <laughs> two weekends. And what do you want to accomplish by the end of the season? Also in the context of that you are not directly influencing also the winner of the total score because every point really matters now in this battle. Yeah, yeah, but the battle for the victory is between Stulla and, uh, and Johannes. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I feel this is the game. It's mm -hmm. like in cycling. You, mm -hmm. you have the yellow jersey and who's number two and three and four. For me, it's not that big difference. Uh, my goal of, for the season and after the World Champs was to have another victory and now I have it because mm -hmm. I missed this the last years and this season I, I had three and that was, was my goal to, to get a higher top level and uh, that will also be my focus the next uh, weeks, not to take as much points as possible but to take as much victories as possible. And is this really high level of this season something you will take into Olympic season because yeah, I hope so. It's been a it's been a quite good season, but in periods my shooting has been too bad uh, to fight with Sturla and Johannes. Uh, so uh, especially Sturla has shown us another level of quality on the shooting range. So I know where I have to improve uh, to to climb higher in the overall. It's my standing shooting, but uh, yeah, to win. Uh, a race or two or to win also a race in Olympics. You don't need to shoot good the whole season, but you need to do it at the right day. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Second place went to Tarja's brother, Johannes Tinius Bö. Johannes, a worrying start 
but then you really bounce back, you found your rhythm, and it's really a big, big podium for you at this stage of the season. Mm. Can you just talk us through your feelings and the whole competition today? Yeah, it was uh, after the sprint, I needed uh, a good shoot today to be on the podium, uh, but it didn't look like that after the first one. Uh, I felt some uh, issues on the shooting last uh, races um, and after uh, two and the first prone today I felt okay this will be uh, hard but don't give up and then I managed to do uh, three clean shootings after and and suddenly I was uh, in the fight for the podium and uh, that tasted really nice because even though I've had a lot of them the last years uh, it tastes even better when it's sometimes since the last time you were there. And when you have issues, like you mentioned, is this something you can improve by some positioning on the shooting range, or it's also something you need to sort out quickly in your own head? Ah, it's uh, both things. Uh, for some times now, it's been more uh, technical and uh, position uh, positioning. Uh, but now it's uh, I've set my position for the for the last part of the season, so I try to think less about the shooting now and and uh, yeah to just uh, <laughs> forget about the serious uh, things coming up with uh, the big fight with Zula. And you got yourself used and us used of winning most of the weeks, and this season has been slightly different. Can you just tell us how you feel you coped with these um, challenges? And especially you mentioned the, let's call it blue beep crazy generation and the generation of your brother, you are somehow lonely in between <laughs> fighting your, your fights. Yeah, I think for me this year, uh, the, it's been, uh, my skiing has been uh, uh, yeah, really good to, to be uh, the best one and, and to win races, but my shootings has not been uh, my top level. Uh, so just looking at the percentage, you have the answer there. So I know what I have to work on for the next uh, season. And you mentioned your skiing, it's really been exceptional. Is this something you know you can rely on and it's only we know five competitions to go? How much confidence does this give you? before the last <laughs> battles normally it gives a lot of uh, confidence and uh, yeah even though you you have a bad day at the shooting range you still get normally a top 10 position um but you know uh, i'm confident as cross-country skier now but not so much as a biathlete <laughs> uh, and that's two different things so uh, i would like to uh, to keep the good emotions from the race today and uh, and try to uh, find myself again for the next uh, races. All the best, thank you, congratulations. In third place went to Simone Dethieu of France. Simone, a new podium, a magnificent battle. Can you just ta uh, take us through your last lap? You had a lot of company, but you came out on top. Yeah, for sure, today was a, a great day for, for me. Uh, last lap was very exciting with, with uh, a lot of uh, good people and uh, I know then uh, we were in the second position after shooting and uh, we were with uh, Ligred, uh, I don't remember all people but uh, and after that uh, Johannes uh, Tingesbe uh, attack in the uh, in the uphill um, and after that uh, Quentin and Emilien uh, from the uh, French team uh, come back uh, at the back of the group. It was, uh, it was hard and uh, fantastic uh, until the finish line. And can you tell us, after you won the World Championship medal, you had your first win yesterday, how much enjoyment you take from something like today, knowing you already had these two big accomplishments this season? Yeah, today, before the, the race, in my head, I said, uh, OK, I did uh, a lot of good things this, this uh, season. And today, I have to take a lot of pleasure to play my best biathlon, but uh, simply play. And uh, I play uh, in the beginning a little bit uh, too much, I think, in the second prone, because two, uh, two misses in this uh, shooting. 
and after that, uh, uh, I keep uh, fight for standing and uh, for the the last lap. But uh, very, yes, very happy uh, to cool to to be on the podium again with uh, that uh, bad bad uh, second shooting. Have you ever been more confident in your career than right now? Not especially, but uh, I found uh, myself because uh, I lost uh, my uh, my shape and, and my uh, feeling li since uh, one year. Uh, I was I wasn't in good shape, and I uh, didn't uh, didn't know what or why. And uh, I'm uh, super happy to to cool to to be uh, better in shape and to cool to play in pursuit because uh, because that's the most important to cool to attack when you want uh, to cool to live uh, simply in a pursuit. And now with this medal and this win, does this change your perspective on the Olympic season? Because now you know how to do things on your own as well, not just with relay, the big things. Yeah, for sure. Olymp Olympic uh, is uh, in my head now. Uh, one one year, year, it's uh, it's it's uh, short, and uh, it's like tomorrow. And uh, I have to finish uh, this season uh, at my best. And after that, I will uh, try for for that. And I know, I know, then um, it will be a, a great uh, next season. Thank you and congratulations again.